The United Arab Emirates, UAE, aims to supply Bayraktar TB3 UCAV from Turkey. Faisal al Bani, chairman of EDGE, the umbrella organization of the UAE defense industry sector, made critical statements on the issue. The cooperation between Turkey and the United Arab Emirates in the field of defense industry is gradually increasing. Defense industry cooperation between the two countries reached its peak with the establishment of the company called Malath in October 2023. Malath's sole function will be to carry out relations and joint projects with the Turkish defense industry. Faisal al Bani, chairman of EDGE, the umbrella organization of the UAE defense industry sector, made important statements about the mentioned joint projects in his statement to Defense News during the Dubai Airshow. Confirming the UAE's procurement of Bayraktar TB2 UCAVs from Turkey, Al Banai said, The Turkish market has done a great job in establishing a good ecosystem of defenders, similar to what the UAE has achieved and continues to achieve in recent years. Referring to the TB2 and TB3 unmanned aerial vehicle manufacturers, Al Banai said, For example, we are also in talks with Baker to integrate our missiles into some unmanned aerial vehicles and possibly eventually purchase the Bayraktar TB3 model. The first flight of Bayraktar TB3, which was developed based on Bayraktar TB2 for landing takeoff on short runway C platforms, was carried out in the past weeks. Bayraktar TB3, which carried out its sixth flight test today, rose to an altitude of 7,500 feet and remained in the air for six hours. Bayraktar TB3 UCAV will be the first armed unmanned aerial vehicle in the world with the ability to take off and land from short runway ships such as TCG Anadolu with its foldable wing structure. Baker chairman of the board and technology leader Selçuk Bayraktar announced that they plan to start tests for Bayraktar TB3 on the TCG Anadolu ship in 2024. The capabilities that Bayraktar TB3 will have will be an important innovation for unmanned aerial vehicles in this class. The national UAV will also have beyond-line-of-sight communication capability, so it can be controlled from very long distances. Thus, it will have a multiplier effect on Turkey's deterrent power by performing reconnaissance surveillance, intelligence and attack missions against overseas targets with the smart munitions it carries. Baker which has carried out all its projects with its own resources since the beginning, has obtained 83% of its revenues from exports since the beginning of the UAV R&D process in 2003. According to the data of the Turkish Exporters Assembly in 2021 and 2022, it became the export leader of the defense and aerospace industry. Baker, whose export rate was 99.3% in the contracts signed in 2022, achieved exports of $1.2 billion. Export agreements have been signed with 33 countries, 32 countries for the Bayraktar TB2 UAV, and 8 countries for the Bayraktar Akinci UAV so far.